Good morning. Oh, I'm going to do some smudging this morning. I just reminded myself, I think. Yes, I am. Good morning. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I am here to share some guidance for this week ahead. That's uh, this week starting Monday the 26th of Ju July <laughs> uh, through to Sunday the 1st of August. So a big welcome to you. I'm going to say hello to you in the comments. Um, I am going to do some smudging this morning. I, it feels great. The energy has really shifted um, since yesterday. There's been a revival of sorts. And I didn't realise, and I didn't know at the time, but I didn't realise I'd been holding back. Because life things, especially around the home, and things have changed a bit. And it feels great to be back outside. I didn't want to come outside because I didn't want neighbours to hear me. But I'm sitting here private. I've got my new art studio here on the corner. And my new little garden I'm making in progress. And it just feels really great to be here and to, great to be sharing again. And yeah, it's strange, isn't it? When we think that everything's going all right, that we're not hiding, we're not holding back. But I just had this realization yesterday that I think I actually have been holding back a bit. So my decision is to stop doing that as of now or as of yesterday. So I'm feeling great. And I trust that you feel a bit of this energy that's coming through too. And uh, maybe it's going to come out through the cards. But extra special welcome I want to send out to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm going to talk about what I'm doing with the cards in a minute. Before I do, though, I do actually just want to smudge. I want to smudge and help clear some old energy out. So I've got um, my smudge bowl, a little bit of sage, and I'm going to hopefully, oh well, hopefully my lighters work, because for memory they're not very good. <laughs> uh, so providing that I can get the thing alight, let's do a bit of clearing. So I'm thinking of just spending a couple of minutes here at the beginning, um, clearing negative energy, clearing our own fear, our own doubts, our own insecurities and clearing away the old shell, the old mask that we've been wearing that's really breaking down at this time. Our former selves that we've been hiding behind our own fear to really think about how we can let that go, how we can break that down. So let's see if I can get this alight and then we'll determine if we are actually going to smudge. <laughs> I should have brought down my matches, which are actually much more reliable, it seems. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, I have a little bit of a match. So how are you? How are you feeling at this time? I'm coming to you live now from Tasmania, Australia, where it is Monday the 26th of July. And um, I'll let you know the time in a second. I think it's about half past 8 a.m. We have quite a lot of snow around the highland, so it's pretty, pretty cold. <sighs> I got a little bit of smudge going. The uh, time is 8.53. So take a nice big breath. And imagine this sacred smoke washing over your body and carrying away with it all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks and attacks. And allow yourself, give yourself permission to let go of what you're holding on to, what's not working for you, your own hesitation and fear, the mask that you've been wearing and allow yourself to let go. So take a couple of nice big breaths and thank you. Okay, let's do a quick hello. We'll do a flick through the comments 
and then we'll get started with the cards. So welcome everybody. Diana's here from the UK. Good morning. Hi Joanne. Hi Matt. Hi Judy. Hi Colleen and Bridget. Kells is here. Welcome. Dina. Hello. We've got Alicia. Welcome. And um, Tracy's here from the Sunshine Coast. Diana, thank you. Welcome, Joanna. Happy full moon to you. Joan is in the woods camping. How wonderful. Hello, Emma and Monica. Karen's here and Deb. Emma looks a bit upset. Sending you loads of love. Denise, good morning. Hi, Jackie. Emma, I don't think is feeling that good. So sending you loads of love, Emma, and anyone else who is struggling now. I trust that something shared helps you. Dale is here. Welcome. Dale's feeling drained. That's very typical of the energy at the moment too. There's a very exhaustive energy around. It's quite brutal. So just gently, gently find time to rest when you can if you're feeling exhausted and tired and drained. Dar, hello. Hi, Glenda. Brittany's here from Toronto. Welcome. And uh, Jackie, Barb's here. Kate's here from Anchorage. Trina and Angie. We've got Rick. Hi, Rick and Nick from the UK. Kay's here. Sam's here. Jennifer's here. Rick's from Darwin. Diane, hello. Hello, Corinne and Shelley and Sky and Jen. Um, where are we? It's flicking up again. Oh, Facebook. Uh, Janie and Joyce and Jennifer. Hi, Carl and Elizabeth and Felicia. And uh, Joanne says, what happened? I got kicked off. Oh, maybe we reached the quota. 80 live views. I don't think we can go much over that. It seems Facebook has a bit of a cap. So... Welcome everybody. It's lovely to see you. So if you're new to watching, what I'm going to be doing is using my combined Speed of Light Oracle cards. They've been combined with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards and they've created a 110 card deck, which I'm very excited to use. This is definitely my favourite deck for readings. So I'll be using this deck to find the best cards for the majority of us for this week ahead. Um... I trust you've been led here for a reason, and I trust that something shared supports you at this time. Um, please, as always, take on board what feels right and what resonates and what fits into your life at this time, and let the rest go. Just think of this as a guide only, and I'm not pulling cards for individuals, so this is general guidance for everyone. And uh, let's see what happens. So we're looking for the best cards for Monday the 26th of July through to Sunday the 1st of August. Last week's cards were incredibly spot on. Our theme was focus and to hold our ground and avoid naysayers, even our own naysaying, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And I actually had a bit of a cackle, a bit of a giggle yesterday on Sunday because our card was light codes, which definitely highlights writing. And I was sitting contemplating and writing pages and pages in my journal last night as the full moon just shone up over here and uh, I had a little giggle to myself because I remembered our card for Sunday was about writing and I was doing a lot of writing so it's pretty interesting how the cards sort of fit in but a new week has started and uh, let's see what we're guided to focus on and what the general energy is around for this week so the best cards for the majority of us for this new week ahead, the uh, 26th of July 2021 through to the 1st of August 2021 are these. Okay, so we've got the cards. I'm going to lay them face down here beside me and then we'll turn them over. So just give me a second. Maybe take some nice big breaths if you need to and um, we'll see what comes up. So I want to do two rows of four on a slight diagonal we have four speed of light and four animal kingdom oracle cards thank you for sharing glenda so that already shows me that there's a reasonable balance that wants to come in because we've got four of each deck which is unusual so let's turn these guys over and see what we have oh and no featured cards okay this is going to be a nice bit of a 
ca- oh, probably not necessarily calming, but compared to the brutal energy and the jam-packed energy that we're, a lot of us have been dealing with in the last week or the last couple of weeks, there might be a little bit more of an ease sort of feeling here. So the first card for Monday, the 26th of July, is this. It's card 43 called Harmony. And Harmony says, sound, tuned in, expression, music and song. So music song may be really important for some of us on Monday. And if you've been feeling drained, if you've been feeling exhausted, if you've been feeling quite battered and bruised from the brutal energy that's quite strong at the moment, or you're feeling like me and quite awake and revived and now just trying to uh, work out where all this energy, this high energy that's been coming in wants to sit in my life, we may find that music or song that we're connecting with personally may be very helpful in helping us stay balanced and also to integrate the new energy that's coming in. So this card talks about harmony or balance, but especially focused around music and being tuned in. So I feel I think of when I think of tuned in, I think of being in tune, but I do play a musical instrument, so I want to make sure my musical instrument is in tune. And I guess that is like an extension of perhaps our own body, our own mental state, our emotional state. How in tune are we? How balanced, how, um, I kind of, how lined up, I, I get this visual here of things being lined up. So how in tune, how balanced, how in harmony are you feeling physically, emotionally and mentally? And, you know, don't judge, don't be hard and too critical of yourself of what you realise or what you become aware of. But if things are a bit off, off kilter, off balance, it's okay. It's really important to be aware of it so you can do something about it. And maybe to do something about it, it might be taking some big deep breaths, it may be just taking a little bit of downtime if you can find a couple of minutes. It may be listening to music or your favourite song just to help lift your spirits but also get you back into that aligned space um, emotionally, mentally and physically. So that's for Monday. Now as we move into Tuesday, the 27th of July, we've got the Peacock card 15. And it says increasing self-confidence. So this is a really great card to get, especially moving out. Hopefully you're moving out of that brutal sort of energy, that really harsh, sharp energy. And hopefully you're feeling a bit revived or inspired or rested, hopefully, to continue. But there is this sense in general around at the moment, too, of an increase in confidence, of motivation and, and feeling inspired and enthusiastic about life again. So this is highlighted here again, or anyway, which I'm feeling, but highlighted here especially for Tuesday, that there is a confidence potentially increasing. A confidence, a clarity. So when we feel clear about who we are, where we're going, what life is about, what this situation's about, it brings us a deeper sense of confidence too. Confidence and clarity seem to go hand in hand for the most part. So if you're feeling unconfident about something, sometimes it's good to look at it from a different angle of clarity. How can I get clearer on this? How can I um, work out more clearly what I want or what the next step's going to be? And then that will give confidence, hopefully a boost of confidence to move, uh, take action on it. So increasing confidence is here for a Tuesday, which is great. Wednesday, the 28th of July, and we have gathering card 53 it says helping ready leader and meeting so Wednesday a great day to gather with other people for a meeting or a get together of any kind something that's not the usual thing that we would do so gathering meeting that's going to be a great day for those sorts of things if you have something lined up there is this sense that we're preparing for something with this card we're preparing for a next step, we're preparing for a next phase, we're preparing perhaps for improvement or change in our life. So maybe around Wednesday it's important for us to think about what are we preparing for and are we utilising our preparation time as best as we can be? Are we procrastinating on something when if we actually look at it, actually I'm preparing for something, there's no need to procrastinate push procrastination out of the way I see it like a box 
that's trying to distract us and it's full of all shiny trinkets and photos and memories and things that are not even really that exciting and we've been encouraged to push the procrastination the distraction of that out of the way so we can focus on preparing so we might be preparing for something that's happening that day we might be preparing for some bigger change that's taking place in our life so there is this strong sense of preparing ourselves so that we're as ready as we can be even if we don't know exactly what we're preparing for and then thursday thursday i love this card card it's the 29th of july and it's card 10 action taking action taking says move on horizon forward let go we've been encouraged to let the sun rise on the new parts of our life the new parts of ourself that need to awaken and allow the sun to set on the old parts of our life those old versions of ourselves those problematic parts of our life that we can finally let the door close on and some of it is letting or giving ourselves permission to close that door or to let the sun set because if we're waiting for the sun to rise or this new door to open but we've got our foot propped in the old door because we're scared of letting it close or for whatever reason we're keeping this old door still open it's actually stopping also the new coming in so as we let the old go the new comes in that's very strong with this card it's also about action there's a strong action orientated energy around at the moment but especially for thursday so it's a great day to get things done get things moving get things changing get things improving to close those old doors to farewell that old energy that old door that old sun thank it for what it's offered and say goodbye there is a strong sense of saying goodbye on thursday what are we saying goodbye to it's going to be different for us all i want to say goodbye and thank this old version of myself that i'd become based on situations and things circumstances in the home probably even since the fire uh, in march 2019 that burnt down my uh, my ceramic studio um i think really since then a part of me closed off but i didn't realize it i wasn't consciously aware of this until yesterday so i feel like there is something that's very old that's been almost smothered within me maybe you're feeling a bit within yourself too something that's been smothering for a while and we're taking off that blanket now so we stop smothering ourselves so we can really start letting ourselves awaken and and become who who we want to be who we're capable of being so saying goodbye to something on thursday is likely and um, it may come with a bit of grief you know as we maybe shed some tears of that old part of ourselves or that person that we love that we've been struggling to um, deal with uh, a loss or something like this so there is this strong deep sense of goodbye and it does prompt action that's what i'm feeling for thursday so that's the 29th okay so then things start to move so friday we've got a little bit of a shift and it feels like a um shift on our path so from monday to thursday it feels like our path is relatively straight i guess we could say but something sort of shifts on our path by friday so it almost feels like a little step that we move up or a little adjustment a little switch of our path which feels like it goes up to the next level we've got the echidna for friday card 19 and the echidna says don't dwell on the details it's not time especially on friday but maybe even this week for us to stop and dig up the dirt and dwell on the details of the old story of what happened of woe is me or you know all this sort of stuff that we've been complaining about or dwelling on for too long you know we might have all the reasons in the world that are right to justify our complaining or our dwelling on things but is it helping us is our complaining and dwelling supporting us or is it holding us back and if it's holding us back 
then it's perhaps time to think about changing that, to stop telling the old story, to stop complaining, to stop blaming, to stop dwelling. It's up to us. No one else is going to stop it for us. So if we're tired of complaining and we're tired of dwelling and we're tired of digging up the dirt and we're just tired of this old thing that's been hovering and maybe even part of that smothering energy, then it's time to keep going. So this card is about not dwelling on the details, to stop digging up the dirt on the past and just go. Keep moving, keep going. Don't give up, don't stop and distract yourself. <laughs> yes, we've been stopping and distracting ourselves, haven't we? So with this energy that's moving, especially around Thursday, as we say goodbye, as we break through, there's a breakthrough energy too with this card, as we let the old doors close, let the new doors open, we're probably going to have to reprogram, if you like, or change old mental habits we've gotten into. That has been um, our habit of dwelling on the past or digging up the dirt or complaining or holding ourselves in negativity or lack. What is working for us? What is promising? What is hopeful? What is, can we be optimistic about? And start shifting our actual attitude, our mental attitude. So this is what feels to be important for around Friday. Ah, then Saturday. Okay, we've got two cards for Saturday. We have this, and I'll reveal the other one in a minute. It's Chakra Activate. This is a great card. It's card seven, actually. I'm just going to say eight. It's card seven. It says upgrade, new level, initiation, and celebrate. There is cause for celebration, especially as we start getting into the weekend. Cause to celebrate. Our life, we personally are moving to the next level. Perhaps what we've been preparing for has been revealed. But there is this sense of upliftment. There is this sense of moving up. There is this sense and feeling of upgrade. And it's exciting. It's exciting. It's like um, the results of the breakthrough. So after we break down, breaking through, and then seeing the benefits, the rewards, the ability to celebrate that breakthrough, that upgrade. So things are very deeply shifting in us. And it's going to really start reflecting more if it's not already, which it probably is, in our life and our relationships too. So coming with this card, which I've already actually talked about a bit, card 39, the Nautilus, for also for Saturday, the Nautilus. The Nautilus says to break negative patterns and avoid going back to them, which is what I was talking about with the echidna, to stop holding ourselves back. Stop dwelling on the details. Stop complaining. Stop reliving the old story over and over again. It's not doing us any favours except for holding us back. So breaking negative patterns, very favourable, especially towards the end of this week and into the weekend. Breaking down our old shell. Breaking away those old habits that we've been talking about that aren't any good for us. We must stop this we must stop that we've probably been talking about it for a while so the energy is favorable to take action and let this stick because it's hard to let breaking habits stick that's the hardest part sometimes it's easy to start relatively but letting it stick or having it stick is the hard bit so the energy is supportive for at least starting to break that habit and there's a lot of action energy around so I wouldn't be surprised if it's also favorable to um, to follow through and, and have that habit breaking stick. So these are the two cards for Saturday, breaking down our shell and it breaking down of the core things that have been holding us back. Because as we shift our focus from dwelling and complaining and blaming the old story, as we take our um, attitude or our energy and we stop giving it away to these things we're attached to, that aren't supporting us and aren't nourishing us, uh, we start empowering ourselves. So instead of distracting ourselves by what happened or these things that we're attached to that pull us down, let's think about how or what we need to break down so we can 
upgrade and move to the next level so that we can really look after our body, treat our body well, treat ourselves mentally well too. So there is lots, a lot of stuff going on. And then Sunday, the 1st of August, so we're going to a new month, we have card five, the crocodile. The crocodile says, stand in your survival power. You are not only a survivor, because you're here. <laughs> if we weren't survivors, we wouldn't be here. So we're here, we're survivors. But there is a strong energy around at the moment that surviving's not enough. Surviving is not enough. And the, the, the general pushing and the propaganda of society these days is very much survival based. It's very much about trying to keep us separate and small and insignificant and powerless. But there is this strong feeling that survival is not enough right now. So what can we do and what is shifting for us at the moment in this week that will help us thrive, to feel excited and grateful for our life? And it doesn't mean we are immune to challenges. It just means we seem to deal with them a little better or we bounce back a little quicker than maybe we used to. So yes, we are survivors and there is power in that, but there is more to life than surviving. So how can you create or start breaking old habits, changing your ways, closing old doors, preparing yourself, increasing your confidence and be willing and ready and take steps to take your life to the next level, parts of yourself. So the crocodile, very primal and a great reminder, but I also feel almost like the crocodile moving to the next level. There is something um, traditional, something almost conservative too about this crocodile energy, something that stands the test of time. Maybe that is our survival that has stood the test of time. And are you content to just survive? Or do you need to work with the groundedness of this energy to propel or prompt yourself just a little bit further out of your shell, a little bit further to the next level? So, yes, interesting. So, yeah. Things are still shifting and moving, but it doesn't feel quite as, potentially quite as heavy as it has been the last couple of weeks, which is always welcome. So thank you so much. They are the cards for this week. I am going to pull a theme card before I go. Before I do, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's lovely to be connecting with you, and I really appreciate you spending or taking time out of your precious time to spend with me. I'm really honoured and I trust that you re have received something helpful and supportive, something that motivates you to improve things for yourself. That would be awesome. So if you have enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment um, or share if you're inspired to, or if you would prefer to connect more privately. I totally understand. I totally understand if you don't want to be commenting all over social media with the way social media is. So if you want to reach out through an email, um, it's great to hear from you always. Um, we have a couple of things coming up this week. On Friday, that's the 30th of July, it's our second new Chakra series um, video, live streamed on YouTube. It's only available at the moment for Pillar of Light family or my $10 patrons or higher. So um, we're working this week on the sacral chakra, which is our second one. It's just below our navel. It's our center for emotional, sexual, and creative energy. So we're gonna be looking at the sacral chakra very closely and shifting and moving energy through there. So if you want to get to know yourself better through working with the chakras, then it's a great time to join because I'm just starting the chakra series. So it'll be seven parts, it goes to October. So um, check that out if you're interested and please consider becoming a Pillar of Light family member because you can access this 
great resource plus lots of other things and it's only $15 a month Australian dollars which is about $10 US for the month which you get so much in that plus you're supporting my work so check it out if you want to also on um, Saturday the 31st of July is my next online art class and we're creating a uh, piece around playfulness no rules no guidelines just free expression so if you would love to just connect in with that side of yourself please have a look on my website um, you can find the Pillar of Light family there too at templeofbalance.com.au if there's something you can't find let me know and I'm happy to point you in the direction of that so um, yeah, if you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance or learn more about my card decks or anything like that that I've created please visit templeofbalance.com.au so the theme card the theme is the most important card really in this whole reading because it's going to help us see the bigger picture and the general theme for this week ahead so the theme card I keep in mind for the whole week pretty much just see how I'm aligning with it am I working with it am I pushing against it and how can I work with that guidance just a little bit more oh the birds sound nice beautiful winter's morning Okay, so the best card for the theme for the majority of us for this week, Monday the 26th of July through to Sunday the 1st of August, is... Okay, it's this. It's this. It's the cheetah. Card four. Card four, the cheetah. And it says to focus on your strengths focus on your strengths another way of looking at this to stop focusing on your weaknesses it's a perspective thing isn't it like I talked about last week is the glass half full is the glass half empty it's perspective so this week we're being really encouraged to focus on the things that we're strong at the things that we're good at and stop spending so much time thinking about or focusing on our weaker areas or weaker parts or the parts of our life that um, maybe we're not we're not good at everything so there's going to be some things that we're naturally better at than others and this week we're being encouraged to really think about those things we're naturally better at maybe we realize like I realized um, yesterday I realized that I'm a reasonable artist and it's weird, isn't it? Because I haven't been to art school or anything like that. It's taken me, you know, 10, 20 years to get to this point of confidence in my art where I feel that it's reasonably good. I do my best when I'm creating a piece of art, whether it's a pendant, a, an illustration for a card deck, a card deck, a piece of pottery. I always do my best and I always have but I see the journey of improvement where my art is getting better so I need to personally I realize I need to stop underestimating myself as an artist and claim and really own that role that is so important to me and I feel so lucky to be here alive at this time in this place where I can do my art and be an artist in on my own terms in my own terms of art creating meaningful art that means something to me this is something I'm realizing that I'm good at that I'm capable of and I'm strong at so that's where as an example this card comes into effect what are you strong at what are your good qualities what are you capable of what have you achieved before and you know you can do it again so let's move out of the gutter and the mud and the ashes of our life and start living it within our means, within doing what we can. You know, we're all individual people. So what are your personal strengths and how can you work with them to help you thrive in your life and not just survive? So the cheetah. And it still feels very active. The cheetah is very active, has bursts of energy. So very active, go, 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 fast, fast, fast. And then it exhausts itself. So we might find that sort of full-on busyness 
continues this week and we might need to try and find little pockets of time of rest so we can catch our breath replenish our energy levels rest and then go again so that may also be continuing this week so big week exciting thank you so much for joining me today um, happy birthday happy anniversary if you're celebrating and um, take care of yourself sending you loads of love from my heart to yours and uh, have a great week namaste Isn't it nice just stopping and listening? Birds everywhere. Bye-bye.